get where your lens is crooked. It is. So what are we doing here, Kyle? I don't know. We're out here at the Grand 1401 yeah. and we got the crooked lens. Yeah. What are we doing with it? So one of the big problems with shooting buildings or any interiors or architecture or anything like that is you have the problem of converging lines, yes. right? And it happens to be because you have to tilt up. And when you tilt up, you start getting the, you know, especially with wide angle lenses, it's even more dramatic. Yeah. yeah, you can see, and you can see how all those lines start to tilt together. So the only way to combat that is to be parallel, is to have your sensor plane parallel to that. Yeah, but then we gotta, get, we gotta get a lot higher. Yeah, so you need a drone with a really good camera on it, or you need like a tilt shift lens. And so what a tilt shift lens does is I'm actually able to tilt, and you could see, here, you could look on my, my viewfinder here. Try to clear it out. Um, look at the converging lines change Whoa. as I shift the lens. The top's getting fatter. Yeah, and so what's happening is I'm eliminating some of those converging lines, but then it, what happens is it gets out of frame. So that's the tilt part is helping me make the building relative to the sensor plane parallel. Yeah. The shift part helps me get it back into frame because now it's it's too low in the frame, right? Yeah. So then I shift, you can see I'm actually shifting up Whoa. and I get more of the building. And then this is a 24 mil. So I'm actually very extreme here with my tilt. Downtown Fresno, baby! Let's do up a plus and use the shift more. You can see how the building is straightening out there. Yeah. So this is the before where I get the really converging lines and this is the after. Now I can, yeah. and then I can shift up and see more of the building. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to endeavor to get this entire building, um, but straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt down a little bit less and we're gonna use that shift feature. And you can see I'm getting some stuff out of focus there. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna change my depth of field here. And then I'm gonna do really long exposures, All right? Let's tilt down. And normally I do this in the viewfinder. Accidentally pulled the push the shutter. And you got a two second countdown? Yeah, plus a long, very, very long exposure right now. Oh, 10 second exposure. So. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm getting focus on the bottom of the building. Here, I'll do it on the screen again. This isn't going to be ideal because of the screen, but so going to punch in and I'm going to adjust that tilt just so. And then all I'm doing is trying to get that bottom. Yeah. One thing you got to remember on the Canon tilt shift is you got to remember to walk, to lock it and unlock it. And you can see this is what the original distortion would look like, which is heavily distorted. Yeah. All right. Here's a more even more extreme. And then this is when I shift it out. Now I'm getting those lines much more parallel, much more straight. Yeah. And I'm still very, very close to this building. For 24. Back up a little bit more. So I can get a lot, a lot more. In one shot. In one. Well, I still don't want one shot. I'm but we're going to use the shift. To also stack focus. So. Yeah. So right now I'm just moving my little focus box. And this is an example of where I really wish the, the Canon TSC, the 24 had a longer focus throw. Cause your, your depths of field plane, your planes are so- Oh, I kicked the tripod. Your planes of focus are so minimal that here I look, I'm just barely moving one millimeter and I'm all the way punched in. I'm not using any kind of uh, focus assist other than the magnification. And so you basically have to eyeball it. Yeah. Hope for the so best. What I'm going to do is I have a 10 second exposure. Uh, I'm going to underexpose a little bit actually. So we've got some such dramatic lights. So I'll take gonna, those I'm going to about, underexpose about a third of a stop to two thirds of a stop. So I'm at F20, which this lens doesn't perform well at F20. So I'm going to actually go down to my time. Where's the sharpest on this lens? On this lens, you're looking at like um, five, six to eight, which yeah. is pretty much the curve for most lenses. Yeah. Um, once you start getting you know, wide open, you're gonna be a little bit soft on most lenses. Some fancy lenses are amazing. 
Then you're going to get very sharp. Then you're going to start getting soft again. Yep. Thanks. All right. So we have a six second exposure with a two second self time left. And I don't know when that cop passed through, but it will just pass. You won't even see him. Yeah, see, you didn't see him in the frame. And just because we had the motion, right? After, so now I'm going to shift up. And the whole point of this is to get that tip of that building. And also I'm going to change focus. Keep that exposure the same, let it go. And you will merge these two images, mm -hmm. bottom and top. I'll have to retake this one. Help you, he was kind of still a lot, so we got a blur here. No, he didn't even show up actually, because oh, yeah. it was shifted so high. Yeah, so. And then let me get one actually where I'm gonna focus on the top of the building. Yeah. I'm not gonna shift again, but I'm gonna get the top of the building. And you'll just kind of blend it. Yeah. So it's all in focus. Yep. So I'm doing focus stacking and panorama stacking basically. Yeah. Merging or stitching. And it's still a little soft because I have very extreme tilt right now. Yeah. And I did that because I wanted to emphasize this effect for this purpose. I don't need to tilt the camera this much for the short of building. Yeah. Like it's not, I'm maxed sure out. We'll comp compensate. Yeah. All right, so what I'll do is I'll post, I'll put those together in post. They should be fairly close on exposure. I didn't change anything about exposure. Um, and then I'll focus stack and stack for the panorama. And it should come out pretty nice. We'll stick, we'll stick the photo right here.